Uh, just the first uh, few days of camp, then how do you feel like the defense is doing in terms of attention uh, the defense from the spring? Um, first couple of days have been really good. Um, you know, just being back with these guys. You know, we're just trying to build some, you know, team team chemistry. You know, on both sides of the ball. But the defense is looking really good, you know. Everybody's, you know, going out there doing their job, you know, trying to be the best they can be so we all can play, you know, and be one, one in the court. I think there was a rep where, um, it might have been in seven on where uh, he passed to Luke Wilson, I think it was, and he kind of came over and gave him a little shoulder. Uh, how hard is it for you to not hit the goal post for you right now? Uh, I mean, we're in practice. These are my teammates. You know, I'm not out here trying to kill nobody, but, you know, every day we all just trying to compete, trying to get better. You know, it doesn't really bother me. I'm just trying to make a couple plays on the ball just like that, like he is. It seemed like, understandably, some frustration early in camp with a couple of those dropped INTs. Those are mixed bags because you're getting yourself into position, but what's your approach just to kind of turn those PBUs into interceptions? Just getting on jugs after practice, you know, making sure, you know, we bring down those PBU, make sure we turn them into interceptions so, you know, we can make this an explosive defense, you know, score on defense. That's the goal. Montez Burfick said that uh, you guys have a little bet going on. Every uh, dropped interception is a, a grand. How'd that come about? Uh, I mean, it's just, you know, me and him, we're really close. So he encouraged me, you know, not to drop money. You know, the ball is money. So if you put the money on the ground, I got to pay him for it and vice versa. How are you guys going to work that out? I don't know yet. <laughs> I ain't figured that part out. <laughs> Cleveland Farrell said yesterday that uh, I don't even like to use the word rookie. I don't even want to call myself a rookie. I call, he says he calls himself a first-year player. First year. And, that, uh, and several ve veterans have remarked that you don't seem to carry yourself as a rookie at all. Like you come I mean, in that's, like you're, that's the mindset. Pardon? That's the mindset. Yeah. I mean, in college, you know, when you go out there on the field, you know, you're not going to say you got a freshman and a senior. You just say it's a team, football player, players making plays. Same now. We're first-year guys. You got some guys on their eighth year. And when you go out there, you're not going to be this rookie made that play. It's going to be Jonathan Abram. So. I mean, we're going out here, and we're just a team. You know, what year you in doesn't really matter. How you can help this team win, that's all that matters. How's the communication growing with Carl Joseph in the back end? Um, it's growing. You know, that's my roommate. So, you know, we talk about a lot of things afterwards. You know, we watch, we watch, watch a lot of film at night together. You know, just making sure, we, like, we're on the same page. You know, there's certain things that we can pass off and exchange because we talk about it late at night. So just we're trying to just build that bond. So. Well, I don't even have to say something. He knows exactly what I'm thinking. Usually rookies or first-year players get paired with other first-year players. Do they tell you that we're pairing you guys together specifically for that reason? No. You, you no. Think, you think it was that reason? I mean, no, I, me and Carl requested each other. So, that's you know, they put me with Trayvon at first, Trayvon Mullen. But Carl wanted to be with me, and I wanted to be with him. You know, that's something we wanted to work on. And, you know, I wanted to see how he takes care of his body, you know, how he handles his business. Because the one thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to I'm trying to build a routine to do something you know of guys who've been around who stuck around. What sort of a resource is perfect uh, so far for you, just in terms of learning? I mean, as far as learning, I mean, I just stay in my playbook. I mean, it's not even that. You know, he's just a he's a big brother to me. You know, he gives me a lot of wisdom. You know, we talk. You know, he's on going on year eight, so it's a lot of things that we talk about. You know, that he's done been through already. That I'm, that I'm, I, I haven't been through, and I will go through. You said you remind him of himself at a young age. Do you see similarities? I mean, yeah. I mean, cause you know, he's a violent hitter. You know, as you know, that's the rep I get. But I mean, it's more to it than that. You know, I'm a hothead at times, but you know, and that's the one thing we talk about. You know, controlling my emotions. You know, and being passionate, not emotional. What, what stands out to you about Lamarcus Joyner's wisdom and his knowledge of the game? Marcus is a very special guy. Him and Eric Harris, you know, both are some very, very, very brilliant guys. And, you know, just LaMarcus, you know, he's very patient. You know, being around him, you know, because he has three kids, so, and I, and I, I will admit it, you know, I'm kind of a kid at times, I like to have fun. And, you know, him, those guys, they're very patient with me. So, you know, and, you know, just being around him, you get to see, you know, what it's like being on your sixth year. So, it's, it's different, it's very special. You guys have hung out a little bit outside of Trampoline park with your kids too. It's been like off the field, getting to know him a little bit more. Same. He's the same way, you know, just trying to see how he is as a father and as a husband so I can continue to grow and continue to learn. What do you like about how uh, Gary and Conley kind of 
Oh, uh, Gary Young, I, I like I like a lot about all our corners. You know, we have a very special group. You know, from GC to Daryl Worley, Nevin Lawson, all those guys have unique um, unique ability. So I mean, I just can't say what I like about GC. I just like the fact that he goes out there, he communicates, he does his job at a very high level. Does going against Antonio Brown in practice help you guys as a secondary? Just going against someone with the Hall of Fame caliber? Yes, going against all those guys, Tyrell Williams, Hunter Renfro. Like I said, everybody on this team is special and they have an ability to do what they do. So going out there and you get to see it every single day, give us the versatility to see and face guys across the entire league. You guys all set? Okay. Thank you. Who, did, who do you mold your game after? Who are some of your influences so far? Um, I try to mold myself after pretty much everybody, you know. I don't try to just take one person. I try to take a piece from everybody that I watch and try to take it and build it towards my game. All right, great. Thank you guys. Thanks, John. Thanks. Appreciate it.